Hi Gemini, welcome to your March, April love and relationships reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Gemini, I'm tapping into a person that's around you physically or energetically. And this could be a friend, family member, lover, potential lover, even a spouse. I'm leaving this completely open to spirit when it comes to who comes through for you, Gemini. And of course it can be reversed. So for my cross watchers out there, this could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. So keep that in mind. Let's see, what is uh, Gemini? What's going on here for Gemini's person of interest? March, going into April 2024 for Gemini, please. Gemini, if you wouldn't mind pressing that thumbs up button, I'd be uh, grateful. Oh, don't forget, I've, I've got Steve here. I almost forgot to introduce uh, the sloth on the table. And <laughs> the sloth on the table, that's Steve, so I hope you don't mind him hanging out with us today uh, for this, uh, this tarot reading. And I'll give him a card as well to, uh, to check on for you. And uh, let's take a look here, guys. Gemini, what's up with Gemini's person of interest for March going into April 2024? Let's get some oracle cards down. I'll start with your energy here, uh, Gemini. Let's let's do that. And of course, as I said, it can be reversed, so you get to decide who's who in this. And of course, it may not be your reading today. It won't be for every Gemini out there. Feel free to check out your other sign placements here on the channel. So Gemini, let's take a look and see what is your energy for March going into April. Oh, okay, I got this for another sign the other day. I've forgotten which one it was, but uh, this one seems to be coming out quite a bit in these uh, this time period. Now, it says relax, take a cat nap. But more than that, I feel like there's an energy here of waiting. So we'll see how that plays out in the reading. Now, your person of interest, Gemini, let's take a look. Please show me Gemini's person of interest for March going into April. Oh, okay. There is an energy here of family this sense of belonging so they could be paying a visit to family or families coming to visit you perhaps um, all right Gemini I'm getting you kind of around not really around these people like that they're around you physically but I'm getting some separation here it could be emotional separation we'll see how that pans out uh, during the reading now the connecting energy between the two of you let's see please show me the connecting energy between these two people here for March going into April what is the connecting energy oh okay I get news and challenges hmm all right so it, you may be hearing that there's a family visit or people coming to uh, to stay um, you could be with this person married to this person in a relationship and perhaps uh, relatives are coming to visit uh, or friends there's, there's something here there's something here okay let's see the eight of cups so gemini what I'm getting around this is this person, I feel like they, they're not coming to stay. It, it, it feels like this person here has gone on a visit. I, I feel like they're going uh, to visit friends, family, possibly at some distance. And with the Eight of Swords in reverse, yeah, I feel like they're, they're no longer thinking things through. They're, they're making... They're making a decision to uh, to free themselves from something that felt uh, stale. They're going in search of something new, uh, new places, uh, scenery. The energy around the feminine here, we've got uh, Queen of Wands energy and the energy around the masculine is the Nine of Swords. Okay, so the masculine seems to be worried here because I feel like this 
this person has um, gone on a trip or walked away I feel like there's a feminine energy here it could be um, male or female of course so it's not a gender specific reading this person could be fire sign it could be Aries Leo Sagittarius or just someone who's very conf feeling very confident uh, doing something for themselves here in the, the months of March and April and yeah I feel like this person is not being held back there's no restriction here but with the masculine energy there seems to be a lot of worry concern uh, some anxiety about this situation now the strength here is the knight of swords yeah i feel like there's air travel uh, movement there's an energy here of ambition chasing a dream i feel like this person here is not holding back yeah i feel like if they have some ambition a goal that they're going to fulfill it and the challenge here is the moon yeah well, you know, I'm getting very fool-like energy around this person. And that may be, it may be a symptom. Okay. I don't know why it's coming up that way, Gemini. A symptom of something. This person is taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, stepping into the unknown, there is a little bit of fear around that but they're going to do it anyway and I feel that the reason why they're doing this is some kind of symptom of something else now the hope is the page of wands yeah I feel that this person is is, uh, is passionate about something um, there is a uh, yeah it, it feels very much like an adventure uh, I'm feeling very optimistic about uh, about the future. All right. So the feminine here is very confident. Is taking risks. Maybe traveling possibly by air. And the masculine energy seems to be uh, anxious, uh, worried, conflicted. Mm. Now the fear, five of cups okay uh, there is a fear around loss like um, there's an energy here of around if I leave there may be uh, loss but I feel like this person is, is, is in two minds or they have been in two minds about uh, taking this journey taking this trip but they want to replace doubt with confidence okay now the goal with this person is the six of wands yeah i feel like this person is looking to be well it's obvious really i mean we all want to be successful but i feel like this person is uh, challenging themselves to be more to do more with their life um, there's ambition there's drive there's motivation i feel like they want to uh, to look good to uh, to feel good and to uh, show the world that they are a success wow okay gemini what they are trying to avoid eight of wands in reverse well this is rash getting involved in anything rashly okay so there's movement here there's, there's motivation there's dedication to um, to boldly doing something but what they're trying to avoid is getting into something that they're not ready to get into quickly okay now around them we've got the seven of cups so this person does have options um, they have uh, a lot of uh, choices here uh, not every option will be a good one of course some will be good some will be not so great so i feel that's the reason why they're not they're not jumping into anything but what they are jumping into is changing doubt about themselves or, or, or changing um, 
a, a lack of confidence into one of, I feel good, I, I look good, I'm going to achieve this. So they're really releasing anything that's been holding them back from achieving. Now, other people, we've got the Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, there's somebody here whose plan uh, feels, it could be you, Gemini. Uh, it could be you, because I did get you waiting. So it may be that you're relaxed, waiting for this person perhaps to return. Uh, I feel that they will return because there is a sense here of belonging, okay? Uh, I feel like they're going to take this journey, but they will be back because I feel like there is a sense of duty or a sense of belonging here. Okay. Um, this could be a friend, family member, or even a spouse or a lover. Somebody who's taking a, uh, a journey of discovery here. Um, it seems to, be, seems to be that you're very worried about them. There may be a time difference where they're at. Uh, you may find it very difficult to, to contact them. Um, okay, now the next action is the Hierophant, yeah, there, there is an energy here of learning, knowledge, doing things a certain way, okay, so I get step by step. And what's hidden here is the Four of Swords. Yeah, I feel that that's, that's you guys taking a break, resting. Now, this person could be um, traveling to gain knowledge. Now, that could be that they are taking a course of study uh, somewhere away from, from you, away from, uh, from the family, away from the pack here. Um, they may be attending a university or a college. Others of you, they're just traveling, you know, travel, they say, is the best uh, educator, right? And I have to agree with that as a Sagittarian. And uh, that's what I'm feeling. I feel like this person doubted themselves and there's something that they're having to do here to, to bring them a sense of self-confidence. And, and it seems to be something that they have to do here at a distance. Now, I think that you, you, are you waiting for them? Well, sort of. I'm, I'm getting kind of a half and half energy around this, Gemini. Some of you are waiting for this person to come back. Others of you, not, not so much. I just get that um, this person will return and I get you thinking about them, I get you worried about them, but it, 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 it's not really letting go. Let, let me see what the outcome is. Seven of Wands. Yeah, I just see you being strong about it. You're being strong, you know? You're being strong, Gemini. You're being strong. Now, why is that? Why, why are you needing to be strong here? Hmm. Let's see. There's a little bit of like, um, I don't know if it's blame so much. Maybe it's a little bit of blame. I, I mean, th there does seem to be a little bit of guilt tripping here. Yeah, a bit of guilt tripping, I feel. Hmm. But I don't feel like this person is, is, is going to fall for that, that this guilt tripping. Now, I'm not sure if it's coming from you. Or it could be, I don't know, other people guilt, guilt tripping this person. Yeah. I feel that this person does act as a mirror. And what I mean by that is, is this person tends to reflect back to other people uh, 
some insecurities you know it, it, it feels it feels like this person does take the brunt of people projecting stuff on them and I think it's because of what this person does I, I, I do feel like this person is, is, is very true to themselves very authentic and it may come across as a little bit on the arrogant side or it may come across as somebody who just does things for selfish reasons but I don't feel it's that but I think that I think that some people and maybe even you Gemini may may see that in this person but I, I don't actually feel that that's the case it's just that this is this person is free from restrictions there's, there's a lot of people in the world who restrict themselves restrict their success this person doesn't have that uh, they they don't care what other people think uh, they do things even though they they may fear it now we've got the moon here so Gemini this person seems to be mirroring back to you maybe to other people And, and it's it's like that people when they see this person want to guilt trip them want to blame them I get this person gets a lot of blaming now for, for some of you Gemini's this person is very similar to you. you you may also be a mirror you may also be aware of that kind of energy you know, that, that people have towards you this could be a twin flame energy as well let's see what else yeah separation um, feeling quite sad uh, yearning for this person unsure you may be unsure whether this person is going to return or not I do feel that they will Gemini this person will return um, it seems like this person's getting a lot of flack for this um, people around them may be uh, saying mean things I, I get mean girl energy uh, directed towards this person for for what they're doing for for what they're doing in their life you know any anytime you go for success and you know, I'm thinking about um, someone like Taylor Swift here anytime you're like uber successful or even just mildly successful you're going to attract a lot of people who because they're not that or, or can't be like that in, in their lifetime um, want to react in a very negative way towards that person put them down and I feel that that's what we're talking about here jealousy <laughs> there's jealousy here and somebody being blamed um, someone even may be being blamed for uh, nas being narcissistic uh, I don't feel that they are guys I, I just feel that that's what somebody else may be putting on to this person uh, someone who's narcissistic themselves Ooh, a bit rough but uh, let, let's take a look here and see uh, what else is happening what about with you Gemini here yeah I, I just feel like um, yeah the, it, it feels very much like um, it doesn't feel like anger it just feels like you an avoidance this is really interesting energy here Gemini because I was getting that kind of from the start of uh, like it, it's it's I'm not even sure you're waiting for this person but it feels like this there's something that this person brings up that you don't want to deal with I don't know uh, it, it seems to have brought up something in, in you here Gemini um, that this person has brought up in in, in you uh, it's reading uh, it, although it's about somebody else seems to be uh, more about 
how this person has affected you and there's jealousy here there's anxiety there's not wanting to deal with this person avoiding them putting up boundaries maybe even blaming them in, in some kind of way um, somehow this person reflects back to you some kind of personal wound that's that's really all I'm picking up I don't want to go too deep with this reading Gemini but let's see what 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 is this wound this mirror what is this person reflecting back at Gemini spirit this won't be for everyone of course that you're not enough a lack of confidence fear ego issues and jealousy so it seems like you're fighting back or you're pushing back at this person that's around you because you feel that they are everything you can't be but the reality is they're in your life here Gemini to trigger you to to know that that you are good enough it's all about what you choose to see in this person and, and at the present time it seems that um, you're keeping them at a distance blocking them in a way from being around you because of your own self-image wow and you may even be uh, again Taylor Swift comes to mind you know oh, sorry about the dogs guys I, I do apologize Taylor Swift comes into mind here because people say ho absolutely the worst possible things about this person and in reality she's done nothing to anybody other than uh, be very successful and earn a lot of money right so in reality it shouldn't affect us no but there are some people who have this it triggers them that, that they aren't good enough that they they can never be that and that's what I feel it's happening here with this person Gemini and they seem to be getting blamed for a, a lot of things that aren't true that this person has no responsibility for there, there are other people's stuff stuff that gets projected onto them just because this person has a, a number of options successful and chooses to be themselves 100 percent yeah so it seems like gemini there, there is potential that some i feel like there's somebody interested in you but you may not be you, you may be uh, i get a counter attack here this person coming in here just wanting to be um, friends maybe to get to know you maybe see where this could go in the future and you say oh no 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 it, it seems to have uh, affected you in this very negative kind of way where you've put up a um, a boundary and you, you just don't want to deal with it because you feel that this person could um, could hurt you possibly yeah it, it's it's like acting acting in a, in a very almost confrontational way towards this person when they, they haven't really done anything other than um, be bold be be confident at least in your eyes it's like it's like being it's like being uh, uh, attacked I feel like this there's an energy here of being attacked for being confident uh, okay all right so one more card here especially with this 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 person just wants to belong they're, they're trying to find their pack uh, they're trying to find family and and yeah stability security permanence growth endurance i feel that that's what this person is looking for gemini but um i, I get you shutting them out shutting them down and maybe even putting some kind of blame up here ma mainly because you you just feel a lack of confidence around this person this person may trigger some confidence issues I've got that in you Gemini but of course feel free to flip this around it may be the opposite way around so I'm gonna leave it there Gemini I wish you all the very best with this uh, please do take care with uh, with this this person you know try, try to go in with more of an open mind um, 
you know, if this person is triggering these these kind of thoughts in your mind, uh, maybe have a, a little bit of a um, reflection uh, about that, and uh, and see see why this boundary is is blocking this person. I mean, for some of you, the, the boundary is is because you, you, you don't want them around, and, and that's fair enough, guys. Uh, but there are some of you who, who could be blocking something good in your life uh, because of this this boundary and of not uh, and not feeling good enough around at least this person. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store and the link for that is down in the descriptions box. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes. If you're a newcomer, I'd love to have you subscribe. Thank you, guys. Thank you to all my regulars, of course. You, you guys are the absolute best. And uh, Steve says, well, perhaps, perhaps you, you need to look beneath the surface here of this person. Look deeper. Look deeper and you might be surprised. Wishing you the best. Bye for now, Gemini.